Hi, Mr. Ackerman. We spoke on the phone earlier. Yes, you must be that reporter from the planet. Yes, yes. Have a seat. May I offer you something to drink? Some cyber soda or laser lemonade? I'll just have some H2.0, please. Yes. I see you're a subscriber. Uh, yes, it's funny, isn't it, how we all still get our news from the newspapers? I mean, when was the last time you ever even heard of anyone using the internet? Trends come and go, I suppose, like how everyone used to use cell phones instead of landlines. It's, it's funny how time passes. It's like one morning you wake up feeling young, and then you sit down in a chair, and three hours later, you look like this. <laughs> What can I do for you? Well, Mr. Ackerman, obviously, Comedy Bang Bang is regarded as one of the most influential television, television shows of all time. Countless Emmys, Peabody's, and Nobel, even an NBA Finals MVP award. LeBron wasn't happy about that one. But I want to know about someone from your past who is still shrouded in mystery. An old acquaintance of yours named Reggie Watts. Oh, get your facts straight, Sonny. Reggie was not an acquaintance. He was my best friend. When was the last time you saw him? Uh, oh, one of our episodes of Comedy Bang Bang. I believe it was the Judd Apatow episode. After that, I never saw him again. What was the title of your article, did you say? Oh, of course, it's The Death of Reggie Watts. <coughs> that was it. My best friend was lying there dead in my arms. Everyone assumed that Reggie quit, but I knew the truth. Thank you so much, sir. I'm gonna win a Neo Pulitzer for this one. May I see you to the door? All right. Thank you. <sighs> I'm sorry about what happened to your friend. It's a real tragedy. Well, from the stars we came and to the stars we shall return. <laughs>